And we're here now with our Up to the Minute segment, our news segment with our news anchor, Rebecca Hasenauer. Now, you may have noticed quite a few times that uh, in the past here, Michael Miller was sitting here two mm-hmm. or three weeks in a row because you were sick, and then you were on vacation, and then you were enjoying the high life, and now here you are because Mike's on assignment. Back at work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're going to tell us today about this, uh, well, this ridiculous thing that uh, Governor Jerry Moonbeam Brown in California mm-hmm. signed about... Uh, uh, children's bathrooms. Yes. So <laughs> back in August, he signed this bill, AB 1266, where it, it just says that um, it, it actually directly says that a pupil shall be permitted to participate in sex segregated school programs and activities, pretty much using being able to use the bathroom based on your gender identity, which is kind of exactly what we saw in Argentina. If you decide you want to be male or female and you're biologically the opposite, you can still be in in any bathroom you decide to be in now to show the lunacy of this it's you can just decide from one minute or class session or whatever to the next right Mm -hmm. for this 20 minutes i'm a girl yep and go into the girls bathroom exactly as a biological guy (laughs) so I, I, I'm gathering that there are quite a few parents quite upset by this. There is. There is a group um, that has issued a referendum saying, you know, just pretty much having everybody go into their churches, volunteering, having parents go into schools, which was surprising to me, but but is allowed. And just saying most of these schools, almost six million, a little over six million are, will be affected by this if it's not um, of if ch- it's, of children, if it's not students changed. in the school. Sure. Exactly. So parents are. Um, upset about this and most schools won't even hear about the passing of this law which is supposed to take effect in january the first mm-hmm. so um they won't even know about it which is the worst thing <laughs> so the parents are uh, uh many parents have whipped together this referendum yes but they only have a week to get the signatures together november right? 5th they which have is... to have it mailed by monday wow so um i mean take a look it's it's www.privacyforallstudents.com mm-hmm. um that's www privacyforallstudents.com, mm-hmm. right? What yes. is it again? www.privacyforallstudents.com. And you can see that up on the screen right here. So. Yes. Uh, and the point is sen- simply just roll back this piece of legislation. Mm-hmm. So it would go to... Th- it y- will be able to be voted on by the people. It will go on the two- 2014, I'm sorry, ballot. So mm-hmm. um, as of right now, it w- if it's passed, if, if we don't do anything about it, it will just take effect January 1st without anyone knowing. All right. So anybody in California that is uh, tuned into this or passing this around, take this little segment, please, and pass it around mm-hmm. to everybody. Your children particularly your uh, your young ladies, uh, students, children, can be followed into a bathroom in their school by a biological male. Who chooses to be female that day, yes, that, that day, hour, Or possibly. that particular class session. So, uh, uh, and not to mention, this is just stupid. This is just stupid, evil, rotten. There's a difference. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is horrible. Well, you just know, I mean, kudos to the parents who are standing up saying, Absolutely. you know, hey, let's talk about this. Yep. You just got to spread the word. Yeah. Get it out there to your churches, people you know. Facebook, it's social media. Hey, look, if you can do a social media revolution and, you know, uh, sort of introduce the Arab Spring and overthrow government, you can certainly overthrow a yep. stupid law signed by Moonbeam himself. Mm-hmm. Do you, what's the rationale for somebody like Jerry Brown signing this? It's expected. This it, sort of thing is just expected by governors like him. Yeah. You know, I mean— this is not surprising to those who have followed him since, I mean, since he was elected. So this is, it's Well, expected. we used to call him Moonbeam. I was, in, I was telling Rebecca beforehand that uh, way back many moons ago, when I was in high school in California in the 70s, we lived in uh, very close to Napa Valley. That's where I went to high school. And uh, Brown was the governor then. And we used to call him Moonbeam because he dated Linda Ronstadt and he thought he was the coolest thing going. Mm-hmm. And he was very, you know, sort of nouveau riche kind of guy. And uh, but he's he apparently has retained and worsened the Moonbeam moniker mm-hmm. now. So uh, your children can uh, have no distinction made in their bathrooms in California starting in January in their public high school bathrooms. Uh, it's so ridiculous. It almost sounds like a joke. Mm-hmm. And interesting to know, this is the first in our country that will be Oh. Past if well, if nothing's done so and, and it will sweep <laughs> eastward it will exactly it will sweep eastward right very much well Rebecca thank you very much for this uh, cheery news <laughs> you're but, welcome uh, again where do they go to uh, to sign up www dot 
privacyforallstudents.com. Privacyforallstudents.com. All right, Brecta, thanks very much. Thanks. When we come back, the man, the legend, our very own Alan Keyes. We'll be right back right after this. Obama is a radical communist, and I think it's becoming clear. That's what I told people in Illinois, and now everybody realizes it's true. He's going to destroy this country, and we're either going to stop him or the United States of America is going to cease to exist. This season, this series of 13 uh, episodes, programs, will be concerned with uh, the principles and advantages that we derive from St. Thomas Aquinas and the Summa Theologica. Why is it useful for people to uh, look at this? Because, not because there's anything original that Mike Forrest and I are doing, we're just retailing. And what we're doing is retailing the truth about creation, about the human person, about God, uh, and about morality and how you form moral judgments as we find them in the magisterium of the teachings of the Catholic Church, and especially as we find them in the teachings of Thomas Aquinas. And the Church has incorporated Aquinas into its teaching of Christ. And it's, so much of this is, is lacking today. Uh, and uh, that's what we're trying to do, is to uh, lay it out in a short and simple format so that you can, uh, you can think about it and pray about it. We're in the midst of the greatest crisis this nation has ever seen. And if we don't stop laughing about it and deal with it, we're going to find ourselves in the midst of chaos, confusion, and civil war. It's time we started acting like grown-ups.